turned pro probably, I think it was 2011 I turned pro. As an MMA fighter? Yeah, as an MMA fighter. Okay. Um, my first pro fight was against Kurt Hollibaugh, who fights in the UFC or fought in the UFC. Um, I was, he was probably 12 and 0 at the time as an amateur. Mm -hmm. um, big name in Louisiana. And just so happened that in Louisiana, that was like right where Dustin Poirier was around at that time. Ooh. And he was like the main guy over in Louisiana. So okay. I actually met Dustin over there then. And that was, I mean, roughly about eight years ago, nine years ago. Yeah. Um, and he was coming back and forth from American Top Team, you know, but he still wasn't there full time. Okay. Um, and I used to go back and forth to Coconut Creek to spar and things like that. So I honed my skills in and, you know, I did good, you know, and at that time, I'm like, I still need to make money because my first pro fight, I made 200 bucks. And I think I spent that getting back home, like literally didn't make any money, you know. Wow. So for all you kids yeah. out there that think that you're going to make massive amount of money now, th listen, we're getting better, right? Yeah. 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 yeah it was one of my first uh, or my second amateur fight here. And uh, this guy, he looked like Uncle Fester. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I was like, what the? He don't have, he had no neck whatsoever. <laughs> And uh, the, the goal right here is supposed to be like a uh, division two wrestler or something like that. So I knew he was trying to trying, trying to, to take me down and things like that. Super green here. I'm still an amateur. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things I'm seeing here that's like terrible as mm -hmm. far as like my foot placement and like my jab, like definitely not a good jab. Um, but yeah, I mean, this was a good fight. We went, uh, it was crazy because back then in amateurs, there was no, now you have shin pads and like there's, there's a, there's a lot of different rules now, but in Louisiana back then, like you could even elbow, like you could elbow, you could knee, like there was, it was basically a pro fight without getting paid, Yeah, you know, and those gloves that I had on probably weren't regulation, <laughs> most likely. <laughs> I remember my first amateur fight was in a place called Cutoff, Louisiana. This is like population 300, like yeah. literally, and it were, they were all at the fights. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> the whole population, the whole population. That's, what, that's what the town that's did. It. They came by and it was, it was in a barn, I swear. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I, and I fought a guy from Mississippi and I, he's probably like 32 years old. He was like a, he's a tough individual, right? Yeah. And I remember I, I, I thought that they were gonna give us gloves to wear. Mm -hmm. And I had, a, I had a teammate who was a heavyweight and he had the old like the UFC gloves like you get from Walmart. Ooh. <laughs> and like I was like, man, I need to use those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he gave me the UFC gloves, and they were probably like two ounces. Like they weren't even. And so I ended up smashing that guy with the two ounce <laughs> gloves, man. Yeah. So right here, this is where the jujitsu should have came into play, right here. Yeah. And that, uh, at this point, you you still had barely any jujitsu experience. Barely or? any, man. Like Jeez. I'm just stuck in half, and then I'm just trying to like hold on right here. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he did a good job keeping his hips low and 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 holding me down for a little bit. Yeah. And I mean, the the problem here is that like right now I need to I need to obviously push my hip push push his hips away, get full guard, or try to get back up, you know. But by the way, if you guys are listening to this, you, you got to see the video because we have his match up on the screen, so you mm -hmm. you'll have to see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, right now it's like again he's grinding his elbow into my into my face and things like that. Mm -hmm. And right now I'm just basically trying to control posture gotcha. so he doesn't you know posture up and punch. And doing a good job of that. And then once they stand up, and he kind of knew, like, he, there wasn't really anything he could do to me stand up Why? So at the end of the day, his whole goal was to try to take me down. And um, honestly, right here, I do feel it should have been stood up. There's nothing really going on. There's no damage going on. We're trying to stop, like, like nothing landing. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, but, yeah. I ended up winning that fight. Um, I ended up kicking him in the face, um, like... I think at the end it's kind of coming up close, maybe right, maybe right there at the end of that. But I ended up kicking him in the face, and I didn't know how he didn't go down, man. It's no neck. Yeah, <laughs> that's because that's he had what no it neck. was. <laughs> I was kind of like, damn, why in this? Why didn't this not? Why didn't he go down? Like I'm crazy, but yeah, yeah, that's how it was. I just, that was I, I love that the uh, like it was filmed on probably like a, a mini, that was definitely mini on DV a, camcorder. It's still that was definitely on a phone somehow. <laughs> oh, that one was. Yeah, I think I think it was my like my ex girlfriend was like taping it. She was like <laughs> cornering me. She's actually a brown belt in jujitsu at the time. So oh dang! She was like cornering me, like push his hips. I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's not happening. <laughs> but Dean was in my corner there too as well. But yeah, I mean, it was a it was a good fight for me. It was a good fight for me because the first fight was easier, mm -hmm. you know, and I didn't really learn much. I kind of yeah. just smashed the kid. And then my third fight 
we didn't get it on video, but I went into, um, it was North Carolina, and the kid was a um, a Duke Division One wrestler, mm -hmm. hometown kid. We were the main event. They brought me in to lose, basically, and it was for a title. And I remember it was the same day weigh-ins. I remember cutting weight in like a in a park, and in the uh, in the sun in, in North Carolina. And I just turned the heat on and and put my sweats on, put yeah. my sauna suit on, and put the heat on in the car and try to sweat it out there. We did the same day wins, and then we went there. I remember him like being like, just making it a show. Like, this is the guy I'm fighting, da da da. So mm -hmm. I was already pissed that he yeah. did that, you know. Went in there, uh, first round, hit him with an overhand, stunned him, dropped to his knees, and then I guillotined him, put him to sleep in front of his whole crowd, which is cool. Well, um, was that like a two minute fight? Probably, yeah, about two and a half minutes. Sheesh. Yeah.